Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So in this particular video, we are going to see how to go about uh, identifying and exploiting and CVE for an application. So for those who don't know what exactly is CVE, a CVE is basically a, or the full form is basically a uh, common vulnerability exposure and uh, it's basically publicly disclosed uh, uh, security flaw with an assigned number. So typically you will get something like CVE ID 4513 something whatever or 2021 based on a year and we'll see that exactly how does CVE uh, ID look like. Guys Web API security testing course is live now. This course will teach you how to find out various vulnerability in API and exploit them starting with the OWASP and beyond it. So if you are someone who is trying to find out various vulnerability on web API and want to learn how to exploit various vulnerability then go check out the course and happy learning. Now over here you could see that we have a web application basically and uh, here uh, it's basically a WordPress. So you can run whenever you get some WordPress application you can run WP scan. So I, I'm not going to show you how to run the WP scan because that will be something out of this particular topic uh, but I think I believe I have already made a video on WP scan that's already in channel so you can go check out and uh, try to learn how does how to run the WP scan so if you run the WP scan uh, you get to know like what all plugins are used or whether the particular WordPress website is vulnerable to some attack or not so over here we are not going to run WP scan but we are going to identify like if there is some plugins which are being used so you could see that there are like a WP content and this is the basically the I believe the theme name 2710 and uh, there are multiple components which are already used inside this particular uh, WordPress website. Now if I go about uh, control F plugin so there is one of the plugins that is used over here. So this basically is vulnerable to drag and drop multiple file upload contact form 7 it's basically a plugin. So if you the best way to do is like let's just simply uh, you know click on it and uh, try to search about the exploit relating to it. So if you see that I just search for the drag and drop multiple file upload plugin download exploit uh, that's basically what we saw over here. So you can remove this download term also sometime this is how simply somebody will search for an exploit and uh, if you see let's me open this one. Uh, this particular vulnerability is basically a code execution and it's like WordPress plugin drag and drop file upload contact form 1.33 something vulnerability and the author is basically this guy Austin Martin and uh, here is the exploit detail so if, if, we, if we go about the CVE so it says like uh, it's something related to the CVE this one okay so let me just open the CVE search so if I search for this uh, CVE so basically you will get all these CV details in NIST government detail or even in my tree organization. I'll cover about those things in some other video but yeah this this is the site where you get some detail about the CVE and uh, you could see that the CV is also say the same stuff that is your drag and drop multiple file upload contact form plugin and it's basically a unrestricted file and remote code execution kind of vulnerability and it basically support type percentage or sorry php percentage and uploading dot php percentage file basically give you a shell. So if you look at the code of the exploit this basically looks like to a python file. Yes there is some uh, python file so he has basically clearly provided the description like wordpress this version where he tested this particular issue and uh, he again says like uh, it will upload a file inside this particular directory that is wp content uploads and this directory and then uh, it will change the dangerous file type such as php uh, that is from underscore dot txt to php and then uh, it i mean this is the, the file type it support but he will bypass this by adding percentage and then uh, he will go about exploiting this like something says that shell dot php percentage so you can read the same code again the code is something like this is a user agent there is some html parser it is basically to check if the file is found and uh, this is there some like, print he wanted to do some message he want to print and this is where he basically sending the uh, you know explore actual exploit code that is the home page where he is trying to upload the file so we'll try to so once the file is uploaded you will get something like uh, successfully file upload so we'll try to upload or uh, run this particular exploit and see how it is working so let me quickly download it 
okay so i will directly run from here if i say cmd and uh, if i run the exploit directly without anything okay i will just try run it probably it will print something 4850.py so this is how you run the py file so it says like wordpress plugin contact form unauthenticated remote code execution so this basically doesn't require you to authenticate to anything and it will directly run without any credential and then um, yeah you, it is asking for basically the url so let me go ahead and provide the url this is basically the url i am simply going to copy paste it okay so it's basically searching for the security string nouns and then it has basically uploaded the file and finally it's crawling to find out the uploaded file as per the exploit whatever is written and it says like success means it has basically you know um, done the file uploading and we can get the terminal shell over here so you could see that this is the limited user file i mean access that we got over here so run some of the command like let's say you name hyphen a okay it will probably print the kernel version right so yeah this is the detail we have successfully basically run the exploit and uh, we have got the details right so i hope you would have got how to go about finding out exploit and how to identify it and how to exploit or uh, something known cve now either you will get some details about the cve in security focus or maybe you get the exploit in uh, let's say exploit db or maybe sometime some user also put in their uh, github directory about the exploit now this is for the web application for network um, it's really simple you need to run the hand map on the particular target yes so in network case you will get something like this i have just searched for ftp network vulnerability and map and you could see that if somebody has run a scan on a particular target he just figure out that port number 21 is open and server is ftp and version is vsftp d 2.3.4 and even anonymous login is allowed so here you would uh, search for vsftp d exploit directly and uh, go about exploiting or maybe running the exploit so you can directly search something like this vs ftp d 2.3.4 exploit and probably there is some metasploit also available so you can go about exploiting the vulnerability by identifying this so this particular stuff is there in my network uh, pen testing course that is going to come sooner so if you guys want me to make more videos on some more topic do let me know i believe somebody has made a course on cve as well so i just wanted to touch base on uh, how to exploit about the cve stuff so i hope you would have got some idea or some knowledge about this particular video or some uh, some knowledge also regarding the cb stuff so thanks for watching this video hit like share subscribe